I've made a few upgrades to my computer. Tell me what you think. <laughs> To give you some background on this computer, it was my senior project last year. I'm a freshman in college now, and I built this the very beginning of December. I ordered the parts around Black Friday in November, and last December would have been a year old. So this is uh, about a year and a month, month old right now. And in that time, I've made some pretty large upgrades. If you saw the video before, I've added another hard drive right here and raided it. So now I have RAID Raptor X hard drives in there. Unfortunately, this fan in that year's time, the two of the LEDs died. So it doesn't look. Only one of the LEDs right here lit, so it doesn't light up all the way. I've changed the RAM out. I used to have four separate sticks to make four gigs of RAM. Now I have two sticks to make four gigs of RAM. I've actually updated the motherboard to a ASUS P5Q Pro Turbo from the XFX 750i. That board actually died on me and when I already made it I traded out my Dell computer and built a brand new computer that I use that computers at college and I'm gonna make a video on that one as well you can see if I come up closer here that I now have a, a TX3 CPU cooler I have a review on that on my channel it's very good for its price I got it for $20 off Amazon and it I'm overclocked at 3.6 gigahertz right now if you want to see my specs, look in the underbar below. I have all of them there. Just recently, I got two 4850s for a pretty good deal on UA. And right below them, you can see my sound card. Over on the right, that's my just plain IDE DVD drive. Which, once Blu-ray drives burners get down to a cheap enough price, say about fifty dollars. The they've been around eighty dollars at Black Friday, but I decided not to get one. I'm gonna get just get one Blu-ray drive, take out the IDE drive, and put that in my other computer because I don't like having that this large cable going up and down right here. It's really annoying. The only thing that really haven't changed is this power supply up here. That power supply and the fans and the lights are the same since since um when I first built it and the processor I actually got I would say it's about one year old right now um I got it right at the very beginning of January I upgraded before and if you look over here in the front of my computer You'll see I have a different fan controller up here. That's a Scythe 4 in 1 or 4 fan controller. I've had it almost wedging in here because it almost didn't walk in because if you can tell it's kind of bent out. So it almost didn't fit in, which is really nice. I still, I modded this. I don't I think I have this in one of my videos. I modded this panel to set the cold cafe with light controllers. And now if since I got the new motherboard, these two USB ports actually work up here. Instead of before, I think only one of the USB ports worked. And I had like another one down here because I didn't have enough headers on my motherboard to just put any more USB ports on. Ideas for future upgrades would include uh, the new Blu-ray drive, an SSD one. Probably by the end of this year, I will get an SSD. I'll just probably stick it behind these drives, and maybe right here to show it off. And I only need like a 64 gig. Those drives right now are plenty big for all my games, and I usually always load a level faster than anybody else. So I have to wait on the server 
to load the level while I'm, I'm already loaded, so there's no point in me getting an SSD for my games, considering my Raid Raptors are fast enough already. The Crossfire X right there, 4850s, can actually play Crisis that I've installed the Cuban Crisis config mod at level 5, which actually looks better than very high, but I can actually max out Crisis at level 5 with 4x AA. But I'm trying to figure out a problem right now. I, my It won't allow me to overclock my cards. And I just need that little spec extra performance to keep the frame rates from dropping down. If you have any questions about my computer, please comment below. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.